cloning Volkswagen MED September 5th. 10 ECU using CGFC 200 programmer with MPC 5XX adapter. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we explore the world of automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. Today, we've got something exciting for you, so stick around and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Before we jump in, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content. Let's get started. Here is a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to clone a Volkswagen MED September 5th 10 ECU using a CGFC 200 ECU programmer with MPC5XX adapter. 1. Equipment needed. CGFC 200 ECU programmer and its software installed on your PC. MPC5XX adapter to connect the ECU to the CGFC 200. Power supply for the ECU. Original and new ECUs. The original one is Bosch 0261S02138, and the new one is Bosch 0261S02007. Jumper cables for connecting the MPC5XX adapter to the ECUs. 2. Backing up original ECU data. Connect FC200 to PC. Connect the CGFC200 programmer to your PC via USB cable. Run CGFC200 software. Launch the CGFC200 software on your PC. Select Volkswagen and ECU model. In the software, select Volkswagen VW from the list of manufacturers and input the Bosch number 0261S02138 to find the ECU model. The model should be listed as Bosch MED September 5th, 10 MPC 561 2. Check wiring diagram. The software should provide a wiring diagram. Follow the diagram to connect the MPC 5XX adapter and the original ECU using jumper cables. Power up the ECU. Connect a power supply to the ECU. Ensure that the power supply provides the correct voltage. Identify ECU. Connect the MPC5XX adapter to the FC200. Then, use the software to identify the ECU chip and establish a successful connection. Read EXT EEPROM and EXT flash data. In the software, select the options to read the data from the EXT EEPROM and EXT flash memory of the original ECU. Save the data. Save the EXT EEPROM and EXT flash data to your PC for later use. 3. Writing original ECU data to new ECU. Disconnect the original ECU. Once you have backed up the data, disconnect the original ECU from the MPC5XX adapter. Connect the new ECU. Connect the MPC5XX adapter to the new MED September 5th, 10 ECU using jumper cables, following the wiring diagram. Power up the new ECU. Connect the power supply to the new ECU. Identify the new ECU. Use the software to identify the new ECU and establish a connection. Back up new ECU data. Before writing the original ECU data, back up the new ECU's EXT EEPROM and EXT flash data. Write original ECU data. In the software, select the EXT EEPROM and EXT flash data of the original ECU that you previously saved and write them to the new ECU separately. 4. Verification. Verify data. After writing the data, verify the data on the new ECU to ensure it matches the data of the original ECU. Disconnect the ECU. Once the cloning process is complete, disconnect the new ECU from the MPC5XX adapter and the power supply. 5. Conclusion. Test the new ECU. Install the new ECU in the vehicle and test it to ensure it functions properly. Store the backup data. Keep the original ECU data backup safe for future reference. Notes. Safety precautions. Always follow safety precautions when working with electrical equipment. Double check connections. Make sure all connections are secure and correct according to the wiring diagram to avoid any damage to the equipment or ECUs. Software version. Ensure the CGFC 200 software is up to date for optimal performance. By following this guide, you can successfully clone a Volkswagen MED September 5th 10 ECU using a CGFC 200 ECU programmer with MPC 5XX adapter. That's a wrap for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this dive into the world of automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more great content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.